Hey everyone, I'm Anthony Matos, and this week with Sports Report. A lot has happened in this past week, and we have the scoop on what went down. All right, Double Football had their season open on September 8th against Westboro. Let's go to the highlights. The Burlington Red Devils returned for their first game of the season, facing off against the Westboro Rangers in a loud and crowded varsity field. Let's hit the turf. Neither team scored in the first quarter, but Red Devils running back Joey Poland put six points on the board with a shake and bake into the end zone. But a two-point intended for Poland was no good. The score was 6 to nothing. Devils going into the half. In the third quarter, the Devils were about to punt the ball back to Westboro on a fourth down. But punter Dan Hannafin dropped the ball and ended back in his own end zone for a two-point safety, bringing the score to 6-2 Burlington. The safety punt resulted in Westboro returner Jake Martin going all the way, giving the lead to the Rangers 8-6, with the extra point successful 9-6. In the fourth quarter, Westboro kicker Aron Batia added another three points to their lead, 12-6. Burlington returner Ryan Brooks ran for a kickoff return touchdown, bringing the score to a tie, 12-12. extra point gave the Devils a lead, 13-12. Westboro tried to take the lead, but the holder for the field goal kick failed to grab the ball, leading to a turnover on downs for Burlington. Your final score was 13-12, Red Devils. Brown to Okapita Woburn Memorial High School on September 15th. We will have those highlights next week. As for our middle school junior devs team, they started out with a win, defeating Melrose 30-12 on the 13th. Congrats. Lady Devils Field Hockey were back at home against Lexington Minutemen on September 11th at Varsity Field. As you've seen in these photos, the girls were laser focused because the game was scoreless until the Minutemen scored on a penalty shot with zero zeros on the clock. The Devils dropping to 0-3. The ladies will be in Stoneham on the 15th. As was taping, the game is still to be played. At the Patriot Golf Course in Bedford, the Red Devil Golf Team came up short with a 33.5 to 38.5 loss on September 1st. Their home opener on September 8th in Bill Ricker vs. Arlington was postponed due to the weather. On the 12th, the team was at Oakley Country Club in Watertown where they lost by the same score against Bedford, 38.5 to 33.5. The Devils will be at the Country Club of Bill Ricca for a home match against Belmont on the 15th. Currently, the team is 0-2. Lady Devils Volleyball got back to wins, back-to-back -back wins this week in Tewksbury, 3-0 in the sets and 3-2 against Reading. On the 13th, the team won 3-2, moving their record to impressive 4-0. The Devils will be back on the 19th in Stoneham. Both soccer teams had losses in their first games of the season against Winchester High School on September 8th. Ellie Matarazzo scored the lone goal in the 4-1 loss while the boys were shut out 8-0. Both teams competed against Reading Memorial on the 12th. The girls had a 5-1 win over the Rockets with two goals from Shea McDonald, one from Lacey Lauder, and Anna Viglione, and Brianna Thomas. As for the boys, they were shut out 3-0. The girls are now 1-1 one and, one, and the boys are 0-2. Both play Lexington on the 14th. As is taping, the game is underway. Girls and boys cross country began their season on September 14th against Winchester. We will have those results next week. The combined Woburn and Burlington swim team lost by 20 in their season over against Winchester, 91 to 71. They had a meet against Melrose on the 13th. Let's go to the meet wrap up. The first win of the year came for the combined girls swim team made up of Burlington and Woburn athletes when they defeated the Melrose Red Raiders 92 to 58. The meet also qualified a couple of athletes for the North Sectionals meet in November. So the win today was awesome for these girls. They have uh, been practicing real hard the last few weeks. Uh, we had some setbacks with not a lot of pool time but they still did a great job today. They proved that to themselves by having three additional relay teams qualify for the North Sectional Championship in November. The McCarthy Twins, Ava Eldridge will be out there, Sarah Herbst will be out there, Alex Mahone, we got Grace Davison. Those are a few of our relay teams. We also have Maria Brito, she'll also be out there. Those times are also subject to change. I'm looking to get those faster to get these girls into states as well. From the Boys and Girls Club of Woburn, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports. September 29th will be the next meet against Lexington. The Rahanas Park Open is this coming weekend. B News Sports reporter Robert Paris had a chance to speak with the organizer, Scott Barrett. 
Grab your tennis racket and head on down to the courts for the annual Rahanas Park Open. The event is usually in the summer, but it has been moved to the fall this year. The Rahanas Open, the last 15 years, has been in the summer. It, it always seemed to be, you know, the weekend we chose is always a weekend where it's 90 degrees, 100 degrees, so that kind of hurt numbers a little bit. So we're thinking that moving to the fall where the weather's a little better, encourage more participation, and I think overall be a better experience for our uh, participants. The tournament will take place September 16th and 17th, and registration is at BurlingtonRecreation.org. If it rains, will be the week after, but fingers crossed will be this weekend. So it's going to be the same kind of draws it's been the last couple of years. The men and women singles and doubles, junior draws, mixed doubles. The junior term is always as a high school coach. It's a term I like to watch because it's kid job coming up. So pretty much the same exact draws, just a different season. Scott is looking forward to the event. And hopefully it'll be exciting for everyone without sweating in the summer heat. Tennis, as I feel, is always a relaxing sport, but I feel like moving in the fall, the nice weather is great. The U.S. Open just finished up, so we figured why not kind of make it around then. The bros play in September. You know, like, why can't Rahanas Open play in September? From Rahanas Park, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports. We do have an update. The tournament has now been moved to Saturday, September 30th. For more Devil Action, go to bcattv.org slash sports and check out our Twitter page at bnewsports. That's all for now. I'm Anthony Matos. Back to you, Phil Gallagher.